Hey everybody, in this reading we'll be looking at things uh, that didn't come through in my other readings for whatever reason. Um, and these things could be about love, work, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. I'll do a couple of spreads and maybe um, additional clarification or outcome spreads if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first spread, Pisces. We have the Nine of Cups, the Will of Fortune, uh, the Eight of Wands, Clarified Goddess, Six of Wands, and we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much um, any zodiac sign. You either have an invitation coming your way to go to some kind of an event or a trip, or you may hear some good news, really good news. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, this is just great spread. It's a great spread. The only major icon card we have on the table is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune could be a Sagittarius, by the way, you could be dealing with. But the Wheel of Fortune is either a card of traveling, going somewhere, or starting a new cycle. Um, if you are invited to a Leo's birthday, then it's their cycle that is starting. It's a new year starting for that Leo, <clears throat> right? Uh, speaking of invitations, um, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck is that invitation. At the same time, it could be simply somebody um, you know, asking you out. Uh, if you are already going somewhere, somebody could approach you at that event or a party or some kind of a gathering. It could be an invitation to go somewhere, to travel somewhere. All right, the Nine of Cups, the first card I came out, is a card of a personal satisfaction. Uh, it's a card of fulfillment. It's also a card of a wish come true. And it's also a card of a celebration. In some tarot decks, the Nine of Cups looks like there's people standing around and celebrating. In some other decks, there's like a table with food and beverages in that, in that Nine of Cups. So yeah, the Nine of Cups is either an event or simply a wish come true or personal satisfaction. You're going to be satisfied because of this invitation or because of this news coming your way. As already mentioned, the Wheel of Fortune is either a travel card or a cycle card. Uh, if it's not a Leo's birthday, then again, uh, it's some kind of a cycle starting for you or you're going to be going somewhere. The Eight of Wands, the next card over is either again a card of communication or a card of going somewhere. It's also a card of Cupid's arrows. <laughs> All right, the six of ones clarifying that is a card of victory, success, it's a card of recognition, it's a card of promotion, or it's simply a card of feeling good about yourself or feeling good about what's going on. So this is positive no matter how you slice it or dice it. This is something good, perhaps something fun, something that's going to put a smile on your face and all that good stuff. I don't think we need to do any um, advice spreads or clarification spreads for this information because there's just so many different things that could happen to you in this case in regards to whatever you have uh, going on in your particular situation. Instead, let's move on to uh, spread number two real quick. Here's the second spread, Pisces. We have uh, the Three of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Two of Cups and the, the Star, clarifying it. And uh, then we also have the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, there is Leo Sagittarius, we also have Aquarius and um, Scorpio on the table. You know what, I was just looking at this spread and uh, this spread right here could be talking about the same thing that we saw in the first spread. <laughs> Especially if you're invited to like a Leo's birthday or if you're invited to like a like a an award ceremony where this King of Wands is going to be awarded or recognized for something. Okay, um, yeah, you're dealing with this King of Wands or somebody you could be meeting at this event. I do see an event or a reunion coming up, right? Well, a reunion kind of also qualifies as an event, right? The Three of Cups clarified by the King of Wands, that's it, right there. The Three of Cups is either a reunion or an event, and it has something to do with this King of Wands clarifying that. If this person is a Leo, it could be their birthday party, right? The King of Wands could be a Leo. Or, again, the King, the King of Wands could just be either a fire sign or somebody who is being recognized, somebody who is being awarded, rewarded, or something among those lines. And uh, this event will somehow turn out to be a golden opportunity for you, Pisces, all right? Because the next cards we have on the table are the Six of Wands and it's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, all right? It could simply be talking about uh, this King of Wands coming your way with those two energies, right? Uh, both of those two cards 
Could be proposal cards, by the way. If this is somebody who is on your who is in your life already, it could be a proposal or an offer to take it to the next level, whatever that level is for you. Um, the Six of Wands actually used to be called the proposal card. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles also often comes through as a proposal. Okay, so if it's not a proposal, if it's a brand new person coming into your life through that event, then uh, I think the two of you will click right away. They will think of you as um, somebody they could spend the rest of you, the rest of their life with. If it's not about love, then perhaps this is like a, if it's an industry event or a conference or again, this King of Wands is being awarded or rewarded, then perhaps you may find somebody who will offer you a job there. Right? The Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Wands could be a job offer. Right? Uh, the Tower on the bottom of the deck could be a Scorpio who is somehow involved in this. But the Tower, I think, in this case is something that happens unexpectedly. Um, you could be unexpectedly invited to this event or perhaps you're, you're just going to go there not thinking that it could turn out to be something more than, that, more than what you thought it was going to be. Right? Something bigger, something major, something more rewarding for you, something that could turn out a golden opportunity for you. Uh, Pisces. All right. Then we have the Two of Cups clarified by the Star. The Star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the Star is a wish come true card. Something people actually wish for or hope for for a very long time. And uh, the Two of Cups uh, is an amazing card to have, especially being clarified by the Star and being accompanied by the Ace of Pentacles and some other cards. Um, if this is about work, business, and finances, then the Two of Cups is my handshake card. If you could be meeting somebody at that event, if this is about love, then this person is your soulmate. That's what this card is about when it comes to love. It's about a soulmate connection. It's also a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people see eye to eye, two people feel the same way towards one another. So if it is about love, if it is a new person coming into your life, I believe it's going to be an instant connection. Instant. Instant chemistry and all that good stuff. And uh, it may even shock you and overwhelm you with the Tower card. Alright, uh, don't be always afraid of the Tower card. A lot of people, when they see the Tower, they freak out. You know, the Tower goes both ways. I think in this case, it's just simply that happens unexpectedly, or, you know, things are not going to go according to plan, but it will still turn out to be something good, even something better for you than you thought it was going to be. Yeah, uh, so be on the lookout of uh, some kind of an event or a reunion or um, like a, an awards ceremony or something like that, right? And uh, this will turn out the golden opportunity for you, even a wish come true. Perhaps even more than what you thought it was going to be. All right, yeah, Pisces, uh, I don't think we need to do additional spreads. I think it's crystal clear. Uh, it, oh, there is a couple of scenarios here, depending on uh, what's going on in your particular situation. But other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you. Let me know what you think of this format. I've, I've used this format in the past, but I kind of put it away on the shelf. Now I want to uh, resurrect it, see what people think of this. All right, so um, yeah. Uh, hopefully this resonates and other than that, have an amazing August.